Okay, so this client has a Zoysia line and you can see how thick it is. Like, look, like my foot is like sinking down probably three inches. It's way too high. We're cutting this way too high uh, because she is every two weeks and that's what she said she wanted. Tried to get her to every week, but she came out and asked, hey, you need to sharpen your mower blades because it's like making brown spots. And I had to explain to her that <clears throat> no, it's because we're cutting um, the grass way too high. And um, this is just spongy part of the bottom part of the grass down here. I mean, look how look how thick that is down there. So it's definitely not being scalped. It's put on brand new blades last night. So we got her switched over to weekly. That's going to improve this lawn um, drastically. So we'll start gradually bringing the blades down here um, really, this is so supposed to look, Zoysia is supposed to look like this right here. So you could tell the neighbor has actually been taking care of this um, pretty much weekly or, or every um, few days, to be honest with you. It's growing like, like crazy right now. But this grass over here on this side has just been cut <coughs> way too high. But um, nope, we didn't have dull mower blades. We have brand new mower blades. It's just this Zoysia grass grows so fast. You either have to bag it or you have to cut it at least weekly and get it down low. This is another thing right here, man. Um, this is tough, like really tough. There's no way to get them over through here. It's gonna get stuck. So this whole area um, has to be trimmed up. Um, it's just very, very labor intensive to have to go trim a whole uh, side of a house. Uh, and then plus, you know, your boots are wet or whatever. So these yards for me, um, you know, when it comes time to look at the end of the year on um, <clears throat> replacing, they're one of the first ones, to be honest with you, drainage yards. So look, no gutters here, no gutters here. Both the yards are pitched down, just holding water right here. <clears throat> it's the same thing on the other side of this house too. So, no gutters, comes down. It's just, just basically a trench of water just right here. And to be honest with you, the neighbors, they got gutters. And look, the grass actually does pretty good. It doesn't constantly have water falling on it like, and beating it to death. It's actually doing what it's supposed to. Water management. Um, Man, it's very tough whenever people don't put gutters in their house. So yeah, man, that lady, she wasn't being ugly or anything. Um, that's that's not the case at all. Uh, but she just didn't know. Um, she's a very, very sweet lady. Um, she's an elderly lady. Uh, but but here's what she knows. She knows the yard doesn't look good. She doesn't know why. Maybe it's dull mower blades. Maybe we're cutting too short. She doesn't know. She just knows it doesn't look good. It's my job to explain to her. <clears throat> yes, ma'am, Miss Lisa. This is why I said this yard really needs to be taken care of weekly. This is exactly what I was talking about at the beginning of the year. So she understands now. She is willing to pay for weekly lawn service. So we got them switched over. And guys, the reason that I give people the option um, is because I don't want any barriers to getting people signed up. I want to remove those barriers. People will figure it out. Like I don't automatically tell them that they have to have weekly lawn service. With warm season turf grasses, they frankly don't always need weekly lawn mowing service. Some of them do, some of them don't. Some yards just, they just don't grow that fast. And if you tell everybody they have to go weekly, to be honest with you, man, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of uh, yards because you're basically forcing people's hands um, whenever it doesn't need to be forced. It's not a good fit for them. But this is a scenario where she 100% needed to be weekly. She figured it out. And it's one of those things like if she didn't go weekly then i was going to have to drop her so um i remove barriers um to getting people signed up with us i want them signed up i want to to figure it out together on their lawn rather than just right out of the gate saying this is just the way it's going to be um i am willing to work with the clients a little bit so we're currently down the mound right now uh tyler has a toothache today and it's causing him some problems so we have a super, super busy day. I've got estimates that I've got to go do. Plus we got, to, I mean, Monday's our big day. It's a monster day for us. And we have a really busy week. But I'm fixing to go uh, do a landscaping estimate around the corner. Um, should be wrapping that up in about 15 or 20 minutes. Then I will jump back on with Justin. Keep this day rolling. So that went really well. Uh, turns out we had some mutual uh, acquaintances and friends. Um, so we were able to make a connection and I got a good idea of what the client was wanting. What I typically do in these situations, guys, is you know after I meet with the client, <clears throat> I of course confirm with them that it's okay, but I will take a video of the property and <clears throat> I will 
I will basically just rehash in the video all the things that we talked about. Uh, Aztec grass is coming out. This lower pedalum is coming out. Wants the crepe myrtles to stay. Client requests low maintenance. Likes color. Flower bed out here would be extended and then need some shade tolerant plants in this area. Most likely agapanthus. Could possibly put in some hydrangea. Client also requests an itemized quote for top dressing the lawn. Client has gutters. Client also wants to stay with pine straw. What this does is this keeps me whenever I go back to my office and I'm looking at putting together an estimate, it, it just provides complete and total clarification because whenever you're able to make these notes in the field right there while it's all fresh on your mind, you don't forget about things like all those little nuances like oh do they have gutters here or there or where like what are the things that were super important to them just take a video right then and there at the time of the estimate it just helps tremendously whenever you're doing your estimate back in the office so it's 10 15 uh, i'm running a little behind schedule today um, but that's what happens whenever you run a lean crew and then you're a man down and then the owner has estimates to go do so it is what it is, but we're gonna go hammer down and uh, keep this day rolling. Okay, so Justin just messaged me and said that the neighbor of the person's lawn we're currently servicing wants a quote because they are not happy with their lawn care service provider. Um, if you watch my videos and you take care of this lawn, I'm very sorry. Um, we're going to give them a quote. We're gonna figure out what it is that's going on with their current lawn care service provider. So maybe this can be an opportunity um, for us all to learn uh, from each other. So um, again, I'm gonna try to be uh, tactful about this and diplomatic, but I'm not gonna pull out the camera while we're talking. But um, these are those kinds of things that come up all throughout the day, all throughout the week that I just wanna start sharing with you guys. Like, okay, this is a real life situation. Somebody's not happy, they just walked up and uh, we're gonna figure out what's going on just make sure they're not a problem client. Um, maybe there's something that their lawn care provider is doing that they don't like, or maybe there's something they're not doing that they need to be doing. We'll figure it out. Okay, this is a learning moment for everybody involved. Dude, it is 10.30 and I have a freaking week's worth of video content already. Today has been wild. Okay, so I started asking questions about what's going on with the yard, man. It, it looks really good. This guy's doing a good job. Why, you know, what are you not happy with on your lawn? And it was strictly price. He got a price increase from his um, service provider from, well, I'm not going to say what from, but what I'm going to say is that it was a change in $30 on a monthly basis. He has flat rate billing. It was a change in $30 and he thought it was maybe too high. And I said, sir, I said, that price that you're getting is exceptional it's exceptional like i could not do that lawn for that price and then i started thinking as i'm talking to him i was like how in the the g's name how in the good lord's name is this is this company able to cut this lawn for this price so then i asked hey who's cutting the lawn and then he told me and i said oh yeah i didn't say this to to the homeowner but i said in my head this company 1099s all their employees. They don't pay payroll taxes. They don't pay a payroll company to take care of the, of processing payments for, for their employees. They don't pay their share of their employees' payroll taxes. They have all their employees set up on 1099. That is how they are able to do that lawn for such a low rate. And I'm telling you this, guys, that that's 100% like, like I don't care what, what you have told yourself about t that it's okay to 1099 what i have seen is that 99 percent of lawn care companies that are 1099ing employees if you get audited you are 100 percent going to be in the wrong because they are showing up driving your trucks using your equipment you cannot 1099 your employees and i'll tell you um as as somebody who works in the same neighborhood it's extremely frustrating whenever you got guys coming in here undercutting rates like that as rick on it, to be frank, it's a, it's a ridiculous rate, but you know, whenever you're paying your employees, I guess, you know, super low rates as it is, and then you're not even paying their payroll taxes, um, well, 
I can see how you can charge so low. So that is a learning moment for all you guys. Fortunately, we have to deal with, and I have always had the mindset that, you know what? I'm not gonna do anything, I'm not gonna say anything. The cards are gonna eventually fall where the cards are gonna fall. Things will pan out the way that they will pan out. That's just all I'm gonna say about it.